I match that family medicine residency program at Santa Fe, which is affiliated to the university. It's located in uh, New Mexico State. Uh, so I actually did uh, internal medicine sabai and family medicine uh, elective there. So I knew the environment, I knew how experienced they were in teaching and how um, high standards they were keeping. This program was my first choice, so I was extremely happy when I got the results back. First time I went to US, uh, was in my first year when we had observership at Emory University. This was the first time when I realized, well, I want to be a doctor here um, because everyone was so professional um, and they had so much empathy towards the patients um, and the respect that after that observership, I decided that I wanted to be a doctor in the US. Actually, it was a really long way but uh, I think what's the most important is that in my program, everyone was so motivated to pass these exams that the environment was very pushy, um, especially the help from the administration. Uh, they were with us all the way. They were organizing meetings with the senior students and faculty from the Emory were visiting us annually and they were giving us all the tips. So we um, had a lot of help um, and with a little bit of dedication, I think we managed it. I think that most challenging part was uh, giving the step one exam because it was really new to me. Um, but what gave me confidence is that we have already passed a summation module here, which is something like USML step one, um, which includes probably everything that is covered during the step one. So I already had some kind of confidence that I was able to do it um, and I did it. I think mentorship and support from everyone is very important during these stressful times because it is very stressful. Um, and especially from the family, from administration, from the seniors, um, it means a lot because you need a lot of emotional support. Um, and the fact that administration was very helpful at very step, providing any documentation on time, uh, kind of relieved my stress. Uh, a lot actually um, and the help from the seniors they were the guide of our class at the match so I want to thank all of them for being very supportive. One advice I can give to students who are still preparing for the steps is to take their time, take your time. Uh, do not rush things, be ready and be confident and everything will be okay. Another advice I can give you to people who are still preparing for the steps is to take a break. Sometimes it's very helpful. When you think that you're about to burn out, go out with your friends, go out party a bit. And do not think that you should be studying all the time. You need some breaks. And I think it will help you in the whole process. I think what is important is to show everyone that apart from the medical school, you're also a human being and you also have your goals, aspirations, your hobbies. Um, and I think that what matters during the interviews is just to be yourself. At this stage, I'm very open to the opportunities. My goal is to complete the US residency. Um, and after that, I really hope that I'm coming back to Georgia and I want to have some kind of contribution to the Georgian Medical Society too.